Oh, welcome back. I love how you look at me and not the camera. Oh, yeah. Welcome back. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, this is going to be your ad. <laughs> okay. Oh, we got puppies at our feet. It's too nice to be inside. We have to soak this up. Yes. We realize that the only way that we're going to stop and record and continue to do this. As if we're outside? As if we're outside. Absolutely. Yeah, so these people are kind of off their rocker. Okay. This is um, a text between a couple of neighbors. A text between a couple of neighbors, okay? Yeah, it says, hello. Hey, Jenny. We met at Colby and Blake's christening. Hi, I remember. It was a while ago now. How are, how are you and your family? Good, thanks for... Thanks, actually. I'm pregnant again, and that's why I'm messaging you. Oh, wow. Big congratulations to you. You must be happy. I bet new bub will be as beautiful as your four boys. Were you messaging because you need a hand with the cattle or something? Actually, new baby will be a bit different to the boys. It's a girl. That's amazing. She'll be so protected. As you know, I've got nieces and they're so much fun and you're going to love it. Really stoked for you. Yeah, I don't need help with the cattle and we're excited too. We want to name her Tilly, but it has come to our attention that your dog is named Tilly and I'd appreciate it if you change the dog's name. Obviously, she can't have the same name as a dog and we're bound to bump into each other. Yeah, I see. Hey mate, I don't think it's necessary to change my Tilly's name. I don't think you'll ever see her and I don't think anyone will notice they've got the same name anyway. I can't express how I feel right now. I'm so disappointed and let down in you, Jenny. People say you're a nice person, but I can see that you have been you have tricked them. You don't have children. You'll never understand how a mother can love and just want the best for this perfect little person. I'm honestly shocked you're being so heartless and unreasonable. You didn't even consider changing the animal's name for my daughter's future. This is going to impact her life and potentially ruin her confidence and life. <laughs> Can you even imagine growing up having the same name as a mutt? You callously have put me in a terrible position. You are a piece of work and don't deserve your good family. You are ruining a baby's life. Think of what you're doing, Jenny. Your, <laughs> your inaction has huge consequences. I'm not going to change Tilly's name, mate. Have a good one and congratulations again. No, fuck you. This isn't over, Jenny. And I'll be talking to Shireen and Glenn about this and she'll be disgusted in you just like i am you're a disgrace please reconsider this it sounds fake <clears throat> it sounds fake because it sounds so fucking dumb maybe it is i don't know that's an amazingly stupid request like could you ever imagine being like getting a hold of a stranger and be like yeah. Change your dog's name. Just an acquaintance. Because and... I'm naming my unborn daughter the, the same name. Well, which is funny because when I was growing up, um, our neighbors, their dog had passed away and they had adopted like a two year old Dalmatian that was already named and it was named Katie. That's fantastic. Did you freak out? Did it ruin your life? No. Oh. I'm not even, tra I mean, I'm traumatized by the dog. But not by the fact that it had, like, the same name as me. Like, I I don't know. I think people are this ridiculous, though. I don't know. Sounds like, I think that they are. It sounds crazy, but I love it because it makes zero sense. I know. Hey, like, we never really see each other or anything in this, like, 
The she baby's not even born yet. Yeah, she barely, she doesn't even know her. Just because you met someone doesn't mean you know her. Yeah. So, well, oh my God. <sighs> <laughs> can't stand people sometimes i know but people are people are definitely this ridiculous i can definitely see somebody being like oh yeah you need to change this just because this is what i have chosen that's great yeah go for it she doesn't mind your child being named after her dog (laughs) like i don't even know it's it just seems so stupid Because in my head, I'm like, well, it has to be fake because it's so stupid. No. Maybe it's real. No. No one better name their dog Bear. (laughs) Their kid Bear? Their kid Bear. (laughs) Or Blue. Blue. So dumb. We need somebody named Monty. Yeah. I didn't yell at him. For having the same name as our dog. Same name. (laughs) I know. it, It ruined his life. I just read it and I'm like... People are, but people are this ridiculous. They just think like, because they ask you to do something that you should just do it. Yeah. Like who cares what you name your fucking kid? Yeah. Like go for it. Go for it and name your kid whatever you want. Yeah. But why would you care about what a dog's name is? I know. And why, like, it's not fair to the dog either. No. Start randomly calling it a new name. Exactly. The kid doesn't know for at least like a year or two. <laughs> You're like calling the dog and it just never comes because it's, yeah. like, it's not my fucking name. You can't use it. You'll never meet this dog again. <laughs> See, that's why it just sounds crazy. Like, there's a person out there that got a hold of a stranger and said, Can you rename your dog? Because I have now considered using your dog's name as my unborn kid's yeah. name. People uh, are that ridiculous, though. That's why it does not surprise me. It's very frustrating. It sounds so stupid. Yeah. It's hard to focus. It's nice out. I know. It's so nice. This is the only way we're going to like sit down and record. Yeah. It's if it's outside. If we yeah. have to go inside, this will, this will just be the last one. <laughs> Till winter. <laughs> yeah. The only reason we even started recording this dumb shit was because it was winter and there's nothing to do i could think of a million things to do right now maybe not a million but like i could think of i could stay busy yeah i don't need to like because we're getting ready for saturday and we have a bunch of people coming and yeah there's a lot of stuff to do before everybody comes okay my boyfriend my 30 female boyfriend 37 male is upset all my exes are ugly Okay. So, like, she's worried that she's ugly, too? No, no, no. The boy is upset. The boy's upset that the... Okay, whatever. Yeah. Okay. Me, 30 female, and my boyfriend, 37 male, have been together for about two years. Recently, my boyfriend found an old social that had me tagged in a few pictures with two of my exes. He then asked for pictures of the other two exes, even back to high school, and then became incredibly upset that all four of them were, quote unquote, ugly. I was confused because from the beginning, I've been clear that to me, looks are very unimportant and close to the bottom of my list of what I want in a partner. Therefore, his good looks for me are a bonus to his warm personality, quick-witted humor, intelligent and interesting viewpoints, and good family values. While I asked why he was so upset, he couldn't give me an answer, so I'm hoping all of you can point me in the right direction. Would you rather them be ugly or really big dicks? (laughs) (laughs) Be like, well, at least they're good looking, they, you know, get really small dicks. (laughs) That's fucking dumb. It is so dumb. Okay. And also, see, this is why I'm glad that we... Are old. Well, yeah. The social media, like, wasn't this huge thing. Could you imagine, like, the shit that would probably be on our social medias? Oh, yeah. From... Like, if we were 16... 16... With cameras in our pocket? 
Oh, that would have been and, horrible. And gave a shit about like, you know, someone liking my post. Oh my god, it'd be. We'd be on the like America's Most Wanted. <laughs> well, think about like all we'd the be- times like in the club or something, and you're drunk and you're dancing, and like we had like razor flip phones. You could take a picture with it, but it looked like shit, and you couldn't tell what it was, and that was like perfect. Could you imagine? I I I absolutely in no way want that to ever happen. I don't think I've ever taken a picture of a girlfriend and put it posted it online well no what i'm saying is like when it was like the beginning of social media yeah with like myspace the beginning yeah right like myspace and stuff i've never once taken a picture of any girlfriend put it online i'd barely take pictures with you and put them on i know why yeah everyone knows what we look like (laughs) <laughs> doesn't need to be on want, the line yeah i don't want pictures of myself on the internet <laughs> as we, unless as it's only like, fans uh, or we're just like doing a podcast on yeah. youtube <laughs> but like three people watch this so i'm not even worried like it's gonna get lost there's gonna be a dog taking a shit in a yard that gets a million views and like six people watch this i'm not worried <laughs> not at all no one's ever gonna find this. It's like seven family members that watch it, and like right. two friends. We can do all the dumbest shit we want. No one will ever know. <laughs> but I'm not gonna. Yeah. So we went through an old social media account, found mm-hmm. pictures of, of her tagged. But but he won't explain on why he's upset with that. Yeah, like he couldn't come up with a good reason. And he's 37. Like this is not a child. This is this is not a 16-year-old who's, like, jealous of, you know, you, I don't know. I couldn't imagine being so insecure about someone my girlfriend isn't dating. Yeah, there's, like, obvious reasons why they broke up, so who cares? Yeah, like, what if they're all Jehovah's Witnesses, right? <laughs> what if you got a girlfriend and they're having to walk around in a suit and tie in the middle of summer knocking on doors? You won, buddy. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> God, I hate when guys like are insecure. I get some females feel insecure, right? Mm-hmm. But when a guy is like insecure, don't you as a woman think like, oh, fuck this guy. He doesn't even have like confidence in himself. Like, fuck him. I don't know, because, you know, I think anybody can feel insecure, but, like, I think, like, this is ridiculous. Like, it's not like she went out and, like, dated a bunch of, like, male models or, like, male strippers or something, and they're all ridiculously, like, ripped, and then he has, like, insecurity over that. He's insecure because they're ugly. I don't understand. So does that mean that he... Because she dated, like, these quote-unquote ugly people. Who knows? They, they probably aren't even ugly. They're just ugly to him. Who knows? But, like, does he now, like, think that he is ugly because she only dates ugly people? That was her idea. None like, I would be... None of it even makes sense. Yeah. I would be... Yeah. I don't know. It's just ridiculous. Well, there's an update. So thank you for all the theories and suggestions. He came to me about it, and some of you were right. He thought I was lying about not caring for looks, and to him, looks are the only thing he's go- he has going for him and was the main reason I was with him. Why he would think this, I don't know. Seeing my exes made him realize I wasn't really joking about looks and not being a priority. It was insecurity over not being an interesting person, having dropped out of college and not achieving his financial goals, none of which are true, or if they are, not important to me. Seems he needs to work on his self-worth, and he's going to discuss it with his therapist. So, like... So, he's 37. Doesn't it... You know, he's never hit any of his goals. And then he now needs to talk about his therapist because he has no confidence. 
Because he doesn't feel because like he he's thinks interesting. The only, yeah, the only thing he has going for him is his looks, and he's not interesting. It sounds like you're right, buddy. Yeah. I hope you're watching this. I, <laughs> I hope you realize you're not interesting. You sound boring as fuck. You seem very insecure, so once you lose this girlfriend, you'll have to deal with a different one. I just don't even understand. That's crazy. I mean, I get, like, having downtimes and stuff like that and, like, not feeling the best about yourself. But, like, he's 37. You, you got to go after some more goals than just, like, your looks. You can't. Looks fade. No matter. Everybody gets old. Yeah. Like, Would you rather be, like, married to someone who is super physically attractive and super uninteresting or would you rather be with someone who's like you're attracted to but you actually like being around them obviously the second one yeah i mean I well exactly because I, you can sit there and what it's they're <laughs> they're as dumb as a box of rocks and they have nothing to say and they're not but they look pretty yeah like no that sounds boring yeah i don't want to sit around and be like oh well he's dumb as shit so i'm just gonna sit here and stare at him that's yeah. all we have to do because he has nothing to say i'm no. lucky i'm i'm pretty lucky i have a great personality because you have a thing for short bald jews so it's working out in my favor i got the best of both worlds amazing personality stunningly handsome <laughs> like no one wants six pack you know, no one wants, like, a really healthy BMI. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants to go to the doctor and only get good news. Yeah. Like, <laughs> no, they want to go work on themselves. Yeah. <laughs> it's like clay. You just got to mold it. Oh, You know, goodness. you can make something beautiful or ugly. <laughs> no idea what the fuck any of that meant. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, my gosh. You got another one? Okay. Anyone else feel like commercials are no longer aimed at them? I just had an odd realization. When I ended up, when I end up in situations where I'm watching ads, parents' house, YouTube videos, at work, etc., the quote-unquote typical family that they show always seems so rich. These families that are having things like backyard barbecues with perfect, well-lit lawns, teenagers ordering whatever the hell fast fashion items off of Amazon in their personal bedrooms bigger than most master bedrooms guys driving their new F-150s around is obviously that's obviously on a private ranch when I was growing up commercials seemed to be more relatable even though they showed a lot of the same stuff maybe it's because I myself wasn't paying to have those things Maybe it's because the type of lifestyle seems so unattainable now. Either way, it's odd to me because I thought the whole every man idea of advertising was to make it seem like your neighbors and people you know are endorsing this product. So you should get it too. Am I just too poor to consider worthy to advertise to? Or are companies so out of touch <clears throat> now that they think the average cable TV customer really lives the way they portray it in their commercials. Wait, so this guy thinks that if you're sitting in your backyard having a barbecue, you're now somehow unattainably wealthy? Well, I think he's talking about, like, when they do have it and they have like the whole backyard set up and, you know, you got the twinkly lights and it's like, it all seems so perfect, quote unquote perfect. Yeah, that's what commercials <clears throat> do. They're exactly. not going to show you, like, a fucking single-wide trailer with a busted-out, you know, like, yard with, like, six trucks in it and then try to sell you a $1,000 barbecue. Right. <laughs> Duh. It's called marketing. You're trying to sell an idea to someone, a fixation on, you know, like... Yeah. That's why people buy $80,000 trucks or work, whatever. But it doesn't make sense. I know. Like, of it's, course, that's what commercials are, buddy. 
is trying to sell you something you don't already have. Well, it's the same reason the fast food commercials, the burgers or fries or whatever they're trying to sell looks the way that it does versus what you actually get out of place. Yeah. It never looks the same. Like if it so they're doing the exact same thing for, like you said, like a barbecue or new decking. Are they going to like have somebody with like this dead beat to shit yard and like this like really nice deck on it? <laughs> oh, you fucked up. It's like he doesn't understand the whole concept of advertising. Exactly. <laughs> They're trying to sell you shit you don't have already. Yeah. You know. Well, and it's just like the grill marks on a burger or a steak yeah. in a commercial are not real. Yeah. They're trying to sell you a barbecue. Yeah. So they want you to think, oh, it's a great backyard and you have a lot of friends. That's why you need an extra bigger barbecue because of all the people that you know. Yeah. And are going to come over and have this great time in your perfect backyard. It's, yeah, he doesn't understand the concept of actual advertising. Because that's exactly what advertising it is. Selling exactly. you shit you don't already have that's more expensive. Or than shit stuff. that you already have. You just need the newer, bigger addition. You need it. You have to have it. It's you need simple. it. Otherwise, you're not going to have a successful barbecue. Yeah. I know. I just, I read that and I was like, well, that's, they're doing exactly what they're supposed to. They're, they're selling you a lifestyle that you don't already have. It's, it, that's, that's literally what advertising is. That is what it is. They're not going to show a bunch of people in a backyard standing around because there's only three rickety metal chairs to sit in. Yeah. And like a shitty you know? little barbecue, right? Yeah. No, you have to have the best, biggest one. Exactly. Or your food doesn't taste good. It's simple mathematics. <laughs> yeah. And you have to get the biggest, most expensive one because you never know how many people are going to be there. You never know. You never know. Yeah. It just, it, it just amazed me because I'm like, you're literally explaining advertising, but saying that you don't understand it. It's exactly what it is. Yeah. That's the concept of advertising. Selling you shit that you don't... You don't need. You don't need. Although, like, some of the vehicle ones, I don't know. They don't make sense to me because I'm like, oh, that's like a feature I just, that doesn't sell me. Like, none of it, you know? Right. Like, I don't want compact or, like, economical. Yeah. I want, like, the fastest fucking model <laughs> that they create. But yeah. I just don't want to pay for it. Well, it's like you see these kids with huge bedrooms in a commercial. I'm not going to go buy a house because I want a bigger bedroom. But I think some people probably do. But some Exactly. That's what I'm saying. And it's advertising. So it, mm -hmm. if somebody goes out and buys that or buys mm -hmm. the grill or something off of Amazon because they saw it on a commercial, the advertisers did their job well. Yeah. Because it worked. Simple. That's their job. Simple. Yeah. You they're, see, yeah. They're trying to sell you more shit. What if a McDonald's commercial showed you what you actually got in the bag? Like on, for their commercial. Yeah. Yeah. They it give wouldn't you be that. like this appetizing looking thing that is fake on there that they spend hours setting up and making yeah. sure it looks perfect. It's like when you <laughs> see a commercial for a Big Mac, you're like, they don't look like that. Yeah, I've never seen a Big Mac no. look like that. They're or like smashed the, the Carl's Jr. burgers. It's dripping. Like it never looks that perfect. No. Nope. So yeah, I just, yeah, I thought it was interesting. Like, and also maybe the commercials look the same back then for an F-150 that they do now. They're, they're selling something unattainable, but were you really paying attention? Cause you were a kid. You're no. probably paying attention to some new toy that you wanted. Yeah. You know? So you would have to go back and look at those old commercials and see. Have you ever had a commercial work on you? Like you watch a commercial and you're like, oh, I got to buy that. I have to. I don't really think so because like when I was a kid, there was a lot of stuff that I wanted. Yeah. 
but it wasn't like I could just go to my parents and be like, I want this because I saw the commercial. Like, I mean, it, it <laughs> my parents would be like, great, you want one. Like, cool. go earn some money to go make it yeah. or something. Um, but I don't know. One, I don't see a lot of commercials nowadays anymore because of apps and everything like that. Um, and the most I ever see in commercials anymore are for pharmaceuticals. It's like 90% of what's on there. Maybe it's just what points out to me. I don't know. Like, I just see a bunch of them. And I'm like, I'm so glad I don't have to watch commercials. Yeah, like now you pay extra with like Netflix. Like you're basically purchasing mm -hmm. services and like packages just so you don't get ads. Yeah. Like I pay for YouTube premium because I can't stand the ads during YouTube. Right? I thought YouTube premium was dumb as shit, right? Right. I, I didn't, I never saw the value in it. I'm like, oh. Until you like tried it out. I tried then... it out. And the best part of it is if you're like listening or watching on your phone, yeah. you can turn your phone off and it keeps playing. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right? So you can listen to a two hour long whatever podcast or show mm -hmm. or whatever and you just turn it off and plug it into your car or whatever yeah you can listen to the whole thing it's yeah. perfect See, no I ads just think, yeah well and that's just it is with so many things nowadays like i just don't i don't see commercials or really advertisements very often anymore to even know and the only reason that i just remember like pharmacy because one car ads don't really interest me ever so i don't really pay attention to them i probably walk out of the room or just shut my brain off i don't even know but like because it's always like oh it will it fixes this problem in like you know 20 percent of people and then like there's the longest list of side effects that seem so much worse than like the thing that you're trying to solve like that was it like restless leg syndrome but then you might you know have thoughts of suicide yeah like, or you could just randomly get a blood clot and die yeah like you're like, you're like no i'll deal with restless leg syndrome i think i'm good yeah or like the ones where it's like oh they're like sleeping pills right because you can't sleep yeah but then you might like you know uh a side effect is insomnia insomnia or <laughs> or it's like sleepwalking and you know yeah possibly like killing yourself or someone else mm -hmm. You're like absolutely not that yeah. doesn't make sense yeah so yeah i i don't really pay attention to commercials or ads but th that's literally what they do i'm trying to think they make you a, it's it's a make-believe see that's the thing with like internet ads think about it right they're very specific Right. If you look at a barbecue, right, it keeps popping up. Or if you look mm. at uh, cameras on Amazon, boom, keeps popping up. So that's actually targeted marketing. Like when I see a Coca-Cola commercial, I'm like, well, that doesn't sound refreshing. I don't like drinking like pop. pop. Yeah. So it, in my mind, it's like I'm not even their demographic because I'm never like a cook. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm never like going to go like buy... Like a Ford F-150 commercial is not... Like, I'm not their demographic that they're going after. Mm -hmm. So, and exactly, my like, my brain shuts off or I walk out of... The, like, there's nothing in that commercial that's going to keep me around. Yeah. To pay attention and to watch it till the end. Yeah. I'm going to do something else. And I think in his head, it's... He's... It almost like he's too fixated on keeping up with the Joneses. Yes. Because he's, you know, oh, this brand new F-150, right? It's mm -hmm. why it seems unattainable. But you're like, yeah, but buying a new F-150 for your neighbor might not, they don't even think twice, and they're just upgrading a truck mm -hmm. or their vehicle or whatever, it's, right? It's, well, oh, God, when was that? Early 2000s or something movie, Keeping Up With The Joneses? is the perfect movie for people who feel like they need to keep up with the Joneses because you watch it and you realize you don't need to. And there's no reason to put yourself in a bad financial state just to have the same thing that your neighbor does. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. No. I don't know. None of my neighbors. Like, like our neighbor has a, what is, what is the big tractor thingy that he has? The Kubota? Yeah. 
Oh, yeah, I want a Kubota. Well, exactly. We don't need one, though, because our neighbor has one. But I want one. <laughs> I know you want one. But, but it's just like, it's like the four-wheeler or the boat or... Snowmobile. We have a, yeah. We know a lot of people who keep up with the Joneses and do all of that. And they can't save any money because it's all in payments to other things. Like, there's no... Yeah. Yeah. Like I don't know. I think it's it's kind of it sounds like the guy's just having like this existential like financial crisis in his mm -hmm. own mind. Cuz I just don't even think of commercials that much, right? See like if you see a commercial for you never see commercials for like Ferrari, right? Yeah. Or all these like what are those, Bugatti? Yeah, yeah. You'll never see a commercial for a Bugatti on TV because they're like, that's not our demographic. We're never, but a, you know, a forty, fifty thousand dollar truck. Yeah. That's obviously a demographic out there. Right. And this guy is like over. I think he's just overthinking of it. Like that's advertising, right? Like if you were, like if you were gonna sell a minivan. Okay. Right. Yeah. Who are you targeting to? Families. Families with kids. You're not going to target us. Yeah. <laughs> you know? But that's, it's like he, you know, it's like, well, then you aren't the, their demographic. Yeah. You know? It's like he's having, like, his own little crisis of who. <laughs> like, either he's not in a happy place or he's not in a happy place financially. Like, there's a lot of things that could, like, factor into it because he's like, am I just too poor, yeah. you know, You're to just... do any of this stuff? And it's like... You could always have a backyard barbecue and have friends over and have people bring food and get together. And I, your friends don't care how perfectly lit it is. Yeah. He's, I don't know. Like, he's focusing too much. I mean, they're trying, it's a commercial. They're trying to show you the perfect thing. Yeah. So the yard's going to be perfect. The barbecue's going to be perfect. The food's going to, I mean, they don't, like, cook on the barbecue and then show a plate full of burnt food. <laughs> right? Yeah. So, like, of course, everything's going to be... when they're targeting you for, uh, say, a new barbecue. Yeah. Right? They're not going to allow the barbecue to make shitty food and show it on, you know? And mm -hmm. be like, this is why it's only 50 bucks. Right? Because the food's terrible. No. Well, and also, there's, like, a bunch of people around, and they're all having a great time. They're not going to show two people screaming at each other drunk. Yeah, they're not going to show, like, a domestic <laughs> violence during the barbecue. Yeah, I mean, it's a commercial. It's they're like trying he... to, sh like, show you the perfect scenario. It's like this... You and your friends and family having a good time. Nobody's arguing. Nobody's, you know, the food's not burnt. It's perfectly lit. Like, it's... it's... He doesn't it's, understand. I, I think he might need to do a few other things than analyze the perfect life on a commercial. Yeah. You know? I know. That would be amazing, though. Like, could you imagine, like, making a commercial for, say, like, a barbecue? Okay. But then you have, like, just this old shitty wood deck that's, like, rotting in places. There's, like, holes... Like, one person gets to sit down at a time because there's only one chair. You have, like, people screaming at each other in the background. And, like, you just take off all this food and it's just, like, burnt fucking hamburgers and stuff. Like, yeah, like. you would be you would be so confused on what the commercial is for. <laughs> like, That's... is this, like, for donations? Like, <laughs> what is this for? It's hilarious. Yeah. It's kind of funny. It's, the guy doesn't understand. What advertising is. Yeah. Advertising is making it so that you want these things. Yeah. And if you want it, after watching the commercial, they've done their job and they've succeeded. You, yeah. It makes you want to, you know. Go out and buy whatever it yeah. is. But I feel like most of the commercials, I'm not their demographic. Right? Yeah, I'm I just not. buy the same thing over and over. Really is any type of, you know, like anything going to influence... Uh, at least I feel there's obviously certain things that would influence me. Yeah. You know, it's it's all targeted marketing. Like, oh, you've been looking at this hoodie, right? Mm -hmm. And it's a $60 hoodie. Yeah. But it just went on sale for 25 bucks. 
Like, I'm your target audience. Boom, boom, boom. Mm -hmm. Bought it today. Right. So. No, I know. That was a targeted marketing plan. Well, exactly. They like sold a me shit that I already that's wanted. Going to be on TV, mm -hmm. right? A commercial that's going to be on TV to a very large group of people mm -hmm. has to be shown to a lot you know like it has to be made for a large group of people mm -hmm. and that's you know and also yeah. he was like the cable tv people i'm like who has cable anymore i mean i know my mom does and i'm very thankful for it because i get to use her cable <laughs> for the certain things that like aren't on apps or whatever but i just i feel like there's not that many people using cable anymore stop watching tv dude life's pretty rad when you don't watch tv I get it. Like, we'll watch a show. We'll get into a show. Yeah. Right? At the end of the... Like, and we'll watch two episodes at the end of the night. Yeah. But I just... But other than that, we spend our days outside as long as yeah. it's nice. If it's nice out, why on earth would you be inside watching TV? Oh. Huh. With tablets and stuff nowadays, people are outside. But. Yeah, you can watch TV outside and stop being a lazy <laughs> piece of shit. 